Toontown Girl here, and our first stop today is the Meteor Crater near Winslow. I think the actual city is actually called Meteor City. It was really awesome because they have an RV park just down the way, so that's where I ended the day yesterday, spent the night, got up early, and here we are. Oh my goodness, the things that I have learned about this crater. I thought I was just coming to see a really unique location. But let me tell you what I found out about it. Moving at 11 miles per second, a meteor raced through the solar system towards Earth. Immense shock waves were created as it approached from the east. Hurricane force winds threw 175 million tons of material in all directions. The shock of impact melted most of the meteor and spread it with the large plume of debris. It took just 10 seconds and Meteor Crater was formed. At 10 seconds before impact, that meteor is about 100 miles above the Earth's surface. And as it's entering the atmosphere, a shock wave is simultaneously created. Five seconds before impact, the meteor is now about 50 miles above the Earth, and it starts fragmenting, and it creates a brilliant flash of light in the sky. And then at impact, the meteor has lost less than 1% of its initial mass, and the surviving fragments are meteorites. The mass of the meteor that created this crater here has been approximated at, to be about 150 feet in diameter, uh, weighing several hundred thousand pounds, and containing enough iron nickel to produce 42,000 automobiles. So the resulting impact site here is nearly a mile across, three miles in circumference, and 550 feet deep which that would be large enough to like put a whole 60 story building or 20 football fields. Okay guys, get ready because scientists have discovered that we've got a whole bunch of potentially hazardous objects that are gonna pass really close to earth in the next 38 years. So if you wanna get your uh, pens and paper out and take some notes or mark it on your calendar, we've got one coming in October of 2023 and that one's going to be about 730,000 miles from the Earth. I have no idea, but I don't like anything being that close to the Earth. <laughs> and we've got another one coming August of 2027. We've got two coming in 2028. One in June for my birthday and one in October. Happy Halloween. Uh, then we got another one the following year in 2029. That one's coming in April, just in time for spring. And then for those of you that are still going to be around, we've got one coming in 2053 in September and one coming in 2060 in February. Happy Valentine's Day. There are more coming, but those guys are going to be showing up in 2100 and something, so I figured not really relevant. They've got an upper observation deck and a lower observation deck. I can't breathe. <laughs> and of course, once again, my arch nemesis stares. Lots and lots of stares. To give you a point of reference, this crater is so massive, you need telescopes to look at everything. See that rock right there? That rock is the size of a house. Check this out. See that white figure in the center of the screen? That is an astronaut cutout that is the size of a regular person. Now you get a sense of how big this thing is. So the major points of interest that I'm walking away with is the size of the crater. So basically you could fit 20 football fields down on the floor and then have seating around it for two million people. That's how big it is. The next thing that I thought was really fascinating was that 
a long time ago, they just thought all craters were volcanic. And this particular one had no volcanic rock or anything like that. They didn't know what the heck it was. But there was a scientist who was studying the blast zones in Nevada. And when he took a look at this thing, he knew exactly what had happened. So one of this crater's claim to fame is that it is recognized as one of the most perfectly kept examples of an impact crater from a meteor and it became the crater that everyone else was able to go and study impact craters versus volcanic craters. I like that the guy, the scientist, was from Nevada. <laughs>